Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Monday, January 15th, 2024. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex economic calendar for today. As for January, the calendar will not be really rich in very important data uh, releases. Uh, we got uh, some uh, data waiting for us from the um, UK labor productivity data scheduled for at least half past 10. And then we got the industrial production, trade balance and the start of the Eurogroup meetings. And of course, those data are from the Euro uh, zone. During the New York session, we got the manufacturing sales, wholesale sales data uh, from Canada. Those data are scheduled for at least half past two. Then we got the Bank of Canada business outlook survey. Uh, this data is scheduled for at least at half past four. And at the end of the day, uh, in New Zealand, uh, New Zealand will release the business confidence data. This data is scheduled for at least at 10 p.m. So as you can see, not too many important data releases. So let's find out what is going on on the charts. We are going to start with majors and the first one will be, of course, the euro dollar. For our chart of the euro dollar keeps moving sideways. Whole last week, euro dollar has been moving uh, sideways. The last low, uh, as we noted on the chart, in form of the hammer, was made on the January fifth. So it's, so it's already f ten days. This this market is moving uh, sideways. Still, we are trading below the key. Uh, technical level at, at 11010. We are still moving uh, sideways roughly around the moving averages, which are located around 1.0956. The key important technical support um, was the, the level of 1.0894. Remember that we made uh, a test um, towards the 61% of the Fibonacci retracement of this wave uh, to the upside. So this wave is of course um, uh, the the main wave uh, to the upside we retrace it uh, towards the, um, the level of 1.0884 which is the 61 percent of the uh, of the wave up local low however of the the hammer low uh, and local low was made um, at 1.0877 which is even lower <coughs> And since then, the market keeps moving um, uh, sideways. Uh, momentum wise, we are just bouncing up and down, up and down from the level around the level of 50. So nothing is going on here on the euro uh, dollar. Very quiet market waiting for some um, fundamental triggers to move uh, either above the key technical resistance or below the key technical support. So let's leave it right now. Nothing is going on here. Let's find um, let's find out what's going on on pound. For our chart of pound looks a little bit better in terms of the volatility, but it it looks like the bulls have a big problem with 1.2769 level. Uh, this level has been tested a few times uh, already, but the market participants didn't actually uh, broke it, uh, you know, very, in very serious way and didn't continue to move to the upside after this level was violated. So what do we have here? Actually, is uh, some sort of the local high. We need to uh, switch uh, our uh, our levels now and we will move our technical resistance at 1.2783. This is now the, the key technical um, uh, resistance. Of course, the swing high is, is very, very um, important uh, we will now add one more level here 1.2793 that was the old uh, technical resistance and the swing high will be uh, will be now lab uh, labeled with a very thick line which means it is very very uh, important as you can see bulls are still trying to move a little bit higher but this movement here looks very very corrective in nature so this corrective uh, market um, doesn't have a much of the, uh, let's say, progression to the upside, doesn't have a much of the uh, possibility to move higher. It looks like most likely uh, this, um, this market will be getting, uh, will be getting uh, lower sooner or um, later. So we will need to wait for this market to actually finish this movement to the upside and then move um, lower. So. <clears throat> 
what to do next we have to wait for the market to break below the dynamic support dynamic support is located uh, roughly around the uh, moving average 1.2703 uh, and then we'll need to wait for this market to break below this moving average and mm, of course then break below the technical support located at 1.2672 and this blue pin bar is looking very good um, uh, and a potential test of this uh, of this um, uh, trend uh, the trend line might be a trigger for the movement towards the lows of 1.20 um 1.2609 1.26 as long as we trade in that uh, kind of uh, upward skewed consolidation, the outlook remains slightly bullish. However, it 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 starts to look like kind of a adding diagonal, kind of a some kind of a triangle. So as you can see, it's not an um, uh, easy situation uh, for us to um, uh, apply our scenario. And the most appropriate uh, thing to do right now is just to wait for the uh, crucial technical resistance which is swing high, all the crucial the key uh, technical support to be violated in order to see which direction market wants to go. So that was the British pound to the um, Euro dollar. Now, Euro dollar and Japanese yen. Finally, we got this four hour chart showing us a potential uh, to the upside. Nevertheless, um, even if we will, uh, however, uh, take a look at this uh, chart in even in, in favor of the of the boost we can clearly see that we got some sort of the uh, bearish divergence looming here because we got this movement to the upside on the chart and we got of course something different uh, which is going on on the momentum momentum is going lower the market is going up clear bearish divergence that needs to be uh, resolved um, soon. Right now, uh, the the key level to keep an eye on uh, is located at 144.37. This is the technical so, uh, support and uh, local low. The other level that might uh, be uh, kind of a helpful is located at one point uh, one hundred forty three point forty four, and those two levels needs to be violated during the down uh, move. So please uh, keep an eye on this uh, this movement uh, to the downside because it looks like the upside is kind of a limited. We got this very nice engulfing pattern here. We got very nice uh, sort of the uh, uh, reminder for you guys that this is the zone here, uh, 146.28, let's say 146.60. Uh, and it's a very strong zone for the uh, for the bears. So. Uh, it looks like um, best will take the pressure on the markets. Uh, so, uh, if the best will take the pressure on the markets, <coughs> we might expect another movement to the downside. Uh, this last local correction is minus 1.75. So, if we get more than this to the downside, then of course our conf our outlook is, is confirmed basically and we should expect more uh, more downside to come now this zone is now invalidated because we have another high so we need to remove it and for now we are going to leave it uh, and just uh, base our analysis on the uh, horizontal uh, levels they seems to be strong there seems to be uh, very nice recognized by the market participants so let's just leave it like it is here and see what will happen next so uh, that was the U, uh, US dollar to the Japanese yen and last but not least US dollar to the Canadian dollar for our chart uh, as you can see is showing us this downtrend continuation and uh, it just let me zoom out to show you guys this uh, key levels here that one was the key one it's the 19th of the September that used to be a technical uh, resistance it's still we still have the price hovering around this level and mostly because just above this level there's another one uh yeah there's another technical resistance 1.3416 and the market just broke above this level but there is no follow through and this situation here looks very very familiar to this one for example from the technical point of view we might see next extension to the downside 
okay so please consider the situation as very very um, similar looking and if we learn something from the past if we if we learn something from uh, our uh, the, from the previous uh, market movements if this history will repeat then the downside movement even towards uh, the lows of the last uh, year 1.3177 might be uh, might be done basically okay so let's just take a look at the current levels okay of course we got this long-term trend line uh, for our disposal as well but the market is for now it's too far away from this uh, for this from this level so we don't have to worry about it local high 1.3442 and after this uh, this consolidation is done uh, the best scenario for this pair is to move uh, lower is to move lower uh, below 1.3342 and then below even 1.3286 uh, in order to get towards the uh, technical uh, support located at 1.3170 uh 77 that's the key technical support this looks very very corrective especially the last part of this uh, movement uh, wave up we will we will see the movement to the downside uh, soon uh, if the history will repeat so that was the technical analysis of the majors thank you very much for watching this analysis i hope um, everything was uh, very nice uh, and clear um please subscribe leave the uh, thumb up if you if you like this analysis and i hope i will see you guys again tomorrow so take care and bye bye